All right, we've got Andy with us now, and we will get started with questions for him with Jeff. Hey, Andy, we, we talked to Coach Herring uh, at the start of this, and he talked about one of the things you really have been working on in the offseason has been being better, cleaner, catching the ball. And I guess I'm just curious, it sounds like a simple thing, but is it as simple as catching it the same way every time? Because that starts your, your entire process. Yeah, well, with the snap, I mean, in a realistic world, we're not going to get the perfect snap every time. So the best case scenario is we get it in the same spot and it's the same process every time. But um, we got to be ready for um, adversity. So um, we just take the snap. And my goal has been to wherever the snap is, to catch it where it's in front of my body and not too close to my body because every every uh, tenth of a second counts and it matters in uh, my job and the process for every punter. So just catching the ball in a spot where it's very feasible to get back to my position to do the rest of the process. So whether that's to shift my legs, to catch it in front of myself, or to just um, bend down to catch it still in front of me so I can get back to my position to finish uh, the rest of the kick. So um, my main focus has been to keep the ball in front of me and to um, just um, work on being softer with the hands, not so soft that it comes into my body, but just keep it in a nice, comfortable position for the, um, the catch. We'll go to Jake. Andy, working on that in particular, how different has it been working with a new long snapper than, you know, with, with Adam gone and having to now work with Peter? Uh, Adam was a great snapper. Uh, when I first came here, I was surprised at how the level of skill these guys had. And um, uh, when I first started working with them, it was like a forethought. Like I didn't even have to worry about the snap and from what I'm used to. And I was just like, it wasn't even like, I wasn't even worried about the snap, but um and both of them are great. Like these guys will put it on the hip and here and there, I mean, no one's perfect, but it's just not having to worry about being ready to jump for a ball or being a shortstop out there. You're just ready for a great ball. And, and just, it's just, it's been amazing. Pete has the same level of skill that Bay has uh, snapping wise. Um, Pete's been a great asset to the team and he's doing great. And uh, I don't have any worries about him stepping up to the plate where uh, Bay left off. Um, I think he'll do a great job. Colton? And we saw last year you had some really, really good punts and then some ones that maybe didn't go your way. What are some of the things that you're trying to do to kind of level those out and avoid some of those, those tougher ones? Yeah. Uh, so, like, my first punt uh, as a Badger was uh, pretty good. And um, I know the next punt after that, uh, I kind of got in my own head as uh, I needed to – I felt like I needed to match that. So I just got to remember to um, just relax and just enjoy the moment and just do the same thing and just not think about the past because uh, the only thing that matters is the next kick. And uh, I just got to remember to do that because um, if I get in my own head, then I'm fighting a two-way battle. So um, just being relaxed and focusing on that kick and just trusting the process that I know I can do. Back to Jeff. You talk about being relaxed and enjoying the moment. You had to wait a while to get that waiver to, to be able to perform last year, and you got it, and you were able to, to do the job. What was that like, and did the first year, was it all you hoped it might be, even though, obviously, it was such a strange year? Yeah, leading up uh, to fall camp, I was uh, kind of sitting on the sidelines because, uh, I mean, I wasn't, like, able to get reps because I didn't want to steal reps from someone who – probably could have been punting. So uh, I was kind of sitting on the sidelines, getting drill work here and there. But uh, once the waiver went through, um, I was kind of relieved. And then we hit the ball running. Uh, I grabbed coach and he would hit me. We were getting drill work after drill work. And uh, leading up into the season, I got more team reps, got more comfortable in the team situations. And honestly, I think uh, with COVID and everything, uh, this was like, that was like the perfect first year leading up into a bigger stage. Um, no fans. Uh, it was just like an ease in to the D1 level of play. And I think it was honestly perfect because it didn't, it wasn't like a huge jump. It was just another level and without the fans. And then now I'm just easing into the next process, which would be adding fans. And I'll have the um, experience from last year. So I'll feel pretty comfortable going into this year. 
All right, we got anything else for Andy? All right, I think we're good. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody, we've got Colin with us now. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with the field goal unit and we'll go ahead and get started with questions for him with Jeff. Hey, Colin, good to see you. Um, good to see you as well. This, you know, just curious what you worked on in this, the, this part up to this point in the off season so far. I mean, if you look at the raw numbers, I think overall at UW, you're 15 of 18 up to 39 and the, the success rate isn't probably what you would like it beyond that. So I'm just curious what your goals have been, what you've been looking at this off season. Yeah, a big, uh, big thing I've been working on this off season, obviously is gaining leg strength. And uh, I've been working with some guys, bigger names out there. Uh, one named John Carney kicked for a while in the NFL. Uh, I reached out to him and he got me on a program and it really, it's been helping and it's easier. What I've been trying to do is find a way to increase power without taking away from the accuracy. So if that makes sense. So like, I felt like I've always kind of been the guy that doesn't kick it that far, but ball's gonna stay straighter. So kind of what I took is I felt like I could take more out of that power side of it without taking away from the accuracy. So that's kind of finding a balance between that is what I've been doing this off season. <clears throat> Oh, and in the, is that a lot of weightlifting or what are some of the things you're doing to try to add that leg strength? Yeah, a lot of uh, certain kinds of power lifts. And it's it's more like more of a organized program to do outside of what we're doing here. It was something that I can do all my stuff here. And then on top of that, working on the extra flexibility, swing pattern, just little stuff. Jake? I was say, Colin, you know, you've been used to Adam being the long snapper for, yeah. for since you've been here uh, at, at Wisconsin. When it comes to how is the battery between the long snapper and, you know, Connor being the holder and then you hitting it, how's, how's the relationship rapport and, and just everything going into that now? Yeah, I mean, I've been on a couple different units now overall. I've between the couple of years that I've kicked, I haven't had the same unit back to back to back. So, I mean, it's nothing, nothing new. I mean, Peter steps in and does a great job. I mean, you really, his snaps are just as good as Adam's. You don't really, you can't tell a difference between the two of them. He's really done a good job and really stepped up. And even we've added uh, Marty Stry to the long snapper room now, and we're dialing him in and getting those gears turned and he's been doing a good job, but I mean, Pete, Pete's a great long snapper and he's got it figured out and he's been ready for his time to step up and I know he's excited. So it's good to see him out there and that he can tell he loves what he's doing. So back to Colton. Colin, when you're going through what your coach just said is a pretty open competition, just how do you mentally, when you are in practice, try to lock in and focus on what you're doing when, you know, the outside of it might be that, that competition you and Jack? I mean, with the whole competition aspect of it, I mean, every year you walk in here and it's competition is what they tell you. So, I mean, even like back to the days when it was me and Roth, it was compete, you know, but Roth, Roth was our kicker. And I mean, Jack's, Jack's a great kicker too. And he's doing a really good job this spring and he's really come a long way. So, I mean, it's really nothing new competition wise. You just, it's a business is what a lot of people don't understand at this level is you got to, the person who's best at the job is going to do it. And you can't be thinking about that stuff before kicks, after kicks, and whatever happens, happens. And competition always brings out the best in everybody is what we're told. And it is true. So, I mean, we're, me and Jack are pushing each other every day to get better. And me and him are good friends off the field, too. So, I mean, it's nice to not have that animosity towards each other through it all and be able to support each other and help each other out. So, I mean, he's a good kicker, too. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, Colin, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but long snapping isn't exactly glamorous, and I'm not sure a lot of people can do it. We didn't get a chance to talk to Marty yet. Did he ever do it in high school? Was this just, Marty, you look like you can do it, get in there, or does, or does he have some experience? Do you know? So me, me and Marty were actually good friends before. Like, we got to Wisconsin. I mean, we were both around the same area. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure he snapped in high school for a little bit, even if it wasn't varsity. Because we, me and him would like mess around and he'd send me snaps like in high school and stuff like that. So, but 
he's he's what we've got right now and he's really embraced it and he's really done a good job at it honestly I mean, it's impressive like you always see those guys like every, everybody on the outside of the specialist world likes to think that specialist jobs are super easy and then they go do it and they can't I mean Marty Marty's an athlete so he, he's really figured it out so. all right thanks Colin appreciate your time no problem thanks guys all right, Connor's with us now, and we'll go ahead and get started with questions for him with Jeff. Connor, we'll ask you what we asked the other guys. What, um, after last season ended and you evaluated, you know, where you were in your craft, what are some of the things you wanted to work on in the offseason to be better um, heading into 2021? Um, I think for me personally, from a technical standpoint, uh, I just wanted to keep working on my consistency, uh, hitting higher hang times with my punch. Um, you know, just working that kind of thing. But really for me, I think the biggest thing that I want to work on from last year to this upcoming season is more, you know, leadership based, being an older guy now, you know, especially with Bay graduating last year, he was kind of the veteran of the group. Um, and so now that he's gone, you know, the me and Larsh and the other guys that are a little older need to really step up into that leadership position. So that's been a big part of my focus in the off season is just having that leadership and developing those skills. Jake? I was going to ask, you know, you talked about Adam being gone. Just how is it having Peter as the main long snapper and how has he grown in your time? Yes. From what you've seen from him. Yeah. I mean, you know, obviously losing Bay is a big, you know, that's a big thing. He is a great long snapper, starting long snapper here for four years, but you know, you think about Pete, he was working with Bay for two of those years. And, you know, you like to say, learn from the best. Like he's really been, you know, took what he learned from Bay. And I think with Bay being gone and in this off season, he's really stepped up and, you know, his drill work and just attention to detail has been great. And, you know, I think his head's in the right place. His blocking's good. His snaps are awesome. Like he's really doing everything he needs to do to put himself in a position to have success. Colton? Connor, I asked you this because you're right there for all these kicks, but just what have you seen from uh, Jack and Colin as they're kind of babbling out here in spring and Coach Herring said this is going to be something that's probably going through the fall camp and uh, that competition? Um, you know, both guys are competitors. Uh, there's no, you know, if ands or buts about it. They both want to do the best. They both want to be the best and they're both going to work at it. Um, you know, both of them, I think, mentally are in a good place. They're both confident. You know, they both are competitive, they feel, you know, going into every kick that they're the best kicker here. And, you know, that's how it should be. Um, you know, two guys who really both are fighting for the same position, who both, you know, feel that they're the best. And, you know, that's what you need. Iron sharpens iron. And I think that that's what we've been seeing this spring. All right, anything else for Connor? All right, we're good. Thanks, Connor, for your time. All right, we'll wrap things up with the specialist today with Jack, and we'll go ahead and start with questions for him with Jeff. Hey, Jack, you know, obviously based on what we saw from you kicking and handling kickoffs last year, leg strength is never an issue, but obviously accuracy when it comes to field goals is critical. It, you know, I'm sure that's a, a key point for you. What, what are some of the things you work on that we might not understand that just to make as many kicks as possible when the pressure's on? Um, I think the biggest thing and like the biggest key that I'm working on right now uh, is just staying consistent. Um, and another big thing is just staying consistent with my follow through. And then another thing that people don't really realize that we work on a lot is just our confidence. And it's it's a big mental game. It's just like golf, kicking, it's, it's so mental. And that's one thing I'm really focusing on this spring is just staying confident with every, uh, every practice, every kick. Colton? Jack, you mentioned that confidence. Did it does it help you having been on the field already in that kickoff role that you've kind of gotten at least your feet wet playing here and then now you're competing for this kicking spot? Definitely. I think playing my freshman year, like it was just a it was definitely a blessing to get on the field right away, get my feet wet, like you said. And I think it's just helping me so much with this field goal spot too. Back to Jeff. Yeah, Jack, when you say working on your confidence, can you give us some examples of that? Because some guys go as far, athletes go as far as working with a sports psychologist. Other guys just talk about just trying to 
you know, have a short term memory. What is it for you that you you're doing? Um, I think it's for me, mostly it's just treating every kick the same, like whether I'm hitting a PAT or I'm backing up to 51 in the rain, like every kick is going to be the same. And then another thing I've been focusing on, especially during spring ball, is having like the right mindset every morning. So when I wake up in the morning, I get out of bed, like I choose to have a good day. Like it's it's a choice every day. And that's like a really big thing that I think specialists and not only specialists, but our whole team got to focus on. It's just choosing to have a good day and choosing to be happy. Back to Colton. Jack, Coach Herring said that this kicking battle is probably going to be going through fall camp uh, before he kind of finds a true winner. When you look at that, when you know you've got a few months to really kind of prove yourself, is it like daunting knowing you've got a lot of time in between or does that kind of give you comfort because you know you've got more time to improve and kind of fix the things you want to? Um, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not too scared or anything. It's definitely um, gives me a little cushion, but at the same time, like I got to come every day. Uh, it, it's going to be a competition every day. Like tomorrow when I come to practice, like I got to be the best I can be. And I mean, like me and Colin are good friends, but uh, like he probably talked about, like we get to come and try to be the best we can every day. Go to Jake. Jack, too, when it comes to uh, with the place kicker duties, just how is it working with with Connor and, and Peter and just how are you developing rapport and relationship within that battery? Um, it's been awesome. Like we've as soon as I came in, I was good friends with Pete and Connor. And I think that just helps out with the operation. Like Pete's snaps are always right there. And Connor's just amazing at holding. Uh, so it helps me a lot with my confidence, knowing that the ball is going to be at the same time or same place every time. All right. Anything else for Jack? All right, I think we're good. Thanks, Jack. Appreciate your time.